If you are building a rag pipeline in multimodality, here is a big news for you. Modern VBIRT, which is a compact 250 million parameter model, is here. It is a vision language encoder built specifically for visual document retrieval, which simply means finding the right page or region in a scanned or PDF document using a text prompt. In this video, we are going to install it locally and I am going to show you with a real world use case as how exactly it works. More importantly, I am also going to explain what exactly entails when we mean all of these seemingly complex terminologies like encoder, document retrieval, VLM and various other things in terms of these BERT or modern BERT models which we have been covering for quite some time on the channel as you can see here. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So let's get right into it. First up, what exactly is happening here? So instead of starting from a large generative vision language model and trimming it down, the authors here have designed a smaller encoder that's purpose built for retrieval in test. It beats models up to 10 times larger by the way. So what does encoder mean here in terms of vision? An encoder turns input into dense vectors or embeddings or numerical representation. A vision encoder turns images like page screenshots into embeddings. A vision language encoder can embed both the page image and the user's text query into the same space so their similarity can be measured. This is exactly what retrieval needs. You index lot of pages embedding once, then at query time you <clears throat> embed the question and fetch the closest pages. And that is the whole idea behind it. And what is a visual doc document retrieval? VDR or visual document retrieval retrieves relevant document pages as images rather than relying on OCR text alone. That matters because documents carry meaning in layout, tables, figures and fonts, things plain text can lose. VDR pipelines index page images, compute similarities between a text query and those images and return the top game matches. So how this is different from VLM you might ask. Look, general purpose VLMs like one used for image captioning or chat are usually decoder style. They are optimized to generate text step by step. You can fine tune them for retrieval, but this repurpose it in a very, very fine way. Modern VBIRT goes the other way. It is an encoder only model focused on producing strong embeddings for queries and pages with choices like attention masking, training data mix and lot of other goodies. I think enough theory. I will be talking more about its architecture and how exactly this works, especially with this diagram. But for now, let's get it installed. I am going to use this GPU card, which is NVIDIA um, RTX A6000 with 80 GPU of VRAM and my operating system is this Ubuntu one. Let me quickly show you and then I am just going to get it underway. As you can see, I am already in my Conda environment. Just I installed it pre um, this video just to save time. Now, if you're following along, all you need to do is to make sure that you have installed Torch and Torch Vision, something like this. I already have it installed, both of these. Make sure Pillow, Torch and Torch Visions are there. And if you can also allow the Transformers library. And this is the code which I'm going to use in order to showcase this. Now, what we are doing here in this example, we are importing the libraries which we have installed. We are downloading the model and then we are just getting a local image. I will also show you the image which I'm going to use for this. So this is an AI generated image for photosynthesis, which I'm going to use. It's a poster style uh, image of photosynthesis. Now coming back to this, we are just preparing the chat template and then from here, all we are doing, we are after loading the model, we are using a bi-directional vision language model where we are feeding our both image and text and then we are turning the picture into model ready pixel and from there model looks at visual cues in our infographic poster like a leaf, root, sun icons and the word 
and then it together with the surrounding words it predicts the single best word to replace the mask in the text token which i have given it this one that this mask whatever it is the model is going to predict it and replace it with whatever it will deem appropriate in terms of my image and my text so that is what we are going to do here let's go back and then let's run this code the first time the model is being downloaded and there you go the model has predicted the next token is poster so whatever fill in the blank was you know when i go to that code the mask was replaced by the poster now this is how this uh, visual retrieval works if you look at this diagram this again gives you another angle so this diagram is basically comparing bidirectional versus causal attention for a text image retriever so from the left the query was which bat is used in baseball and the word bat is ambiguous it could be animal it could be baseball stick but bidirectional attention lets every word see both left and right context and it builds better token embedding it picks a baseball sense and retrieves the correct passage about a baseball bat as you can see on the very right where if you just use causal attention it only sees past words generation style making weaker embeddings it drifts to the animal sense and retrieves the wrong passage about mega bats which is the bat bottom one this purple one so the key takeaway is that for retrieval understanding bidirectional attention produces more accurate matches and that is what we should always opt for now there are a lot of other things which are happening in this model i could go on and on and on for instance just to give you a bit more context around bidirectional one look bidirectional encoder jointly handles the visual page and the text query to produce embedding suited for late interaction matching which is a retrieval setup that compares many local vectors for fine grain alignment and the work systematically test design levers like attention mask and various other things so if you are building a rack pipeline and that is how you extract value out of ai and your company has a lot of pdf documents or a lot of images and you are trying to do the ocr with the ai you want to extract those images you want to make not only sense out of those images but also the text then i believe you have to give a look at this modern vbird because this really takes it to the another level i think this is going to go a long way let me know what do you think do you think that if you are building a rack uh, vision pipeline would this help or not please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support